what is going on guys, it's Leo back here for yet, yet again, every time, again, another video. And today we're gonna be talking about what is in my filmmaking camera bag. If you guys haven't seen my last video, you guys already know that this is my Wanded Provoke 31. Um, I'm not gonna review it in this video for the sake of time. Um, if you wanna see the actual in and outs of this bag, I definitely recommend you checking out my last video, which will be linked here here i think is on this side definitely check that out because that's based around street photography if you guys watching this are into photography most likely street photography check that video out i'm linking it there and i'll link it below but today it's gonna be about filmmaking and this is the same bag i use for filmmaking and as you can see it's considerably heavier i don't know if you can see how heavy things are but from the way i'm lifting it yeah and the girth of the front it's definitely got a couple more things more than the last video, than the last, than the last one. It's definitely got more things in this bag than my street photography bag. Let's roll with that. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. Um, once that's all done, I have a quick update. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So this is my Wanted Provoke 31. It is an amazing bag. If you've seen it in my last video, I go into more detail on it. It's definitely worth picking up. Now let's get to the main show and this is my Panasonic GH5. It is an amazing camera despite it being about three to four years old now. It shoots log, it shoots Cine D, it shoots standard profiles, variable frame rates. It is an amazing workhorse and I definitely recommend using it. It comes with dual SD card slots and it has an amazing battery that can last up to a few hours shooting 4K60. Now moving on to the lenses, this is the 18 to 35 Sigma Art Lens. It is an amazing lens, I use it for most of my narrative work. It is a workhorse, it's built like a tank. Paired with a Viltrox that gives it an extra stop of light. It is an amazing setup and I definitely would recommend anyone who uses the GH5 to get this lens. Now onto the 12 to 35, this is a native lens. It is mainly used for easy running gun gimbal work. It's light, it's simple, it's an f2.8 and it's weather sealed, what more can you ask for? Now the 7-14 to lens is an f4, not the fastest in the world, but it does have an extremely wide field of view which does come in handy, especially when getting those establishing shots. Now my favourite lens is the Sigma 16mm f1.4. It's a contemporary lens, it's amazing for what it does, the price is cheap, it's super light so it's pretty much on my camera most of the time. Yeah, what can I say? Now this is probably the cheapest lens I own, it's the 45-200 to by Panasonic. It is not that sharp, it is not that fast, but it gets those shots, those awkward times when you need it. It's there for you and I definitely recommend picking something like this if you don't generally use zoom lenses. Now moving on to my good old reliable GoPro Hero 8. It is my go-to vlogging camera. It's definitely underrated. It's a very capable camera and it does a good image. Tripods, tripods, what can I say? It's a tripod. Um, this is a carbon fiber tripod. It's super light, it's an Amazon Basics. It does the job. It extends to the reach that you need. Uh, what can I say? Easy to travel with. Definitely recommend it. When shooting all day, extra batteries is so important. As you can see on my batteries, I label them with my little logo, just so I know they're my batteries if we're sharing them with other videographers. This is a Viltrox RB10 LED panel light. It is small, compact. I recently just picked it up. It does all the way from tungsten to daylight. It goes through the whole spectrum of the color chart. It's definitely worth having, especially when you make you wanna make those different types of moves when you're doing narrative film work, or if you just wanna have an LED in the background of your videos. Definitely worth picking up, very good. Nothing really special about the next item. It's just a Pelican case that holds all the SD cards. It's shockproof, it's waterproof, and it keeps everything safe. If you're a creative, a videographer, a photographer, definitely recommend picking one of these up. This is the Weeble S by Jun. I've already made a couple of videos based on this, so if you go and check those out if you're interested. But it's a very capable gimbal. It's very light, it's very compact. It can hold the 18 to 35 and a GH5 together. What can I say? What more do you need? This is the Rode Video Micro. It's a shotgun mounted mic. It is a really good one. It's powered by the camera and no batteries included, and it has really good audio quality. This also comes with a dead cat, so it cuts out the wind. 
these are the Rode Wireless Go's, they're lavalier mics, wireless, one connects to the camera, one connects to the person, it has a built-in microphone so you don't need to wire anyone up, you can just connect it and go, good and convenient. This is a Black Pro Mist filter by Tiffin, it's one of eight and what these filters do is it desharpens the image to make it a bit more cinematic. You also have variable ND filters which obviously let more light in. These are like sunglasses for cameras which is definitely recommended if you're doing videography. These are step up and step down rings. These are used to connect filters to your lenses. What the idea is is that you buy a larger filter and then you use the step down rings to add it to your lens. So in a way you're saving so much money not buying filters and just forking out 10 pounds for these. Definitely worth it, definitely recommend it. These are just a pair of any old wired cheap headphones. I normally use these to plug into my GH5 so I can monitor audio a lot clearer especially when you're trying to get those decisive vocal moments. Definitely worth having, it's only cheap, any pair will do. With all this camera equipment, you're gonna have a lot more wires, so I tried to keep them in one place. This is a little pouch I picked up in Tokyo, Japan for about 100 yen, which is next to nothing. Definitely worth having, it keeps it all nice, compact and neat, and there's nothing more important than being neat on a set. And last but not least is my 2018 iPad Pro. This I use as a tool to upload my videos onto it, do a quick rough edit and then show my client. It definitely works and it definitely shows that wow factor when you're showing them what you can do instantly. I normally pair this with the Sandisk SSD, 500 gig, and together they make a perfect pair. And that's all I can say. So that is what is in my video camera bag for 2020. This year so far has been a very quiet year for videography in terms of going outside and utilizing the bag because we've been stuck inside for quarantine as you all already know and we're just doing our thing here being as creative as possible. So I hope you guys are keeping safe and I hope you guys are keeping creative. So currently I'm working on a short film. Hopefully it will be done by the end of the month. Hopefully. Having a bit of trouble with my lighting because all the walls in my place where I live are all white. So for those that know how cinematic lighting works White walls are the worst thing ever because it reflects light everywhere and yeah, it's hard to control. Lighting is all about control, controlling the lighting. So I've just had like these massive sheets, hung them up on the sides and just trying to control that lighting. But hopefully it all works out and you guys get to see that by the end of the month. Um, that's something to look forward to, I guess. I just wanna say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. We have been growing at a nice steady pace and it's been absolutely fantastic. All the comments that you guys leave below on my videos are great. I love engaging with you guys and I love it when you guys talk to each other and help each other out. That is a community that we're building and that is a community, hopefully, that we're gonna keep going forward. And if you guys have been keeping up to date with my channel, you guys already know that few videos back I'm not quite sure when I'll probably leave the video there I did announce that when I get to a thousand subscribers I will be giving away a film camera as recording of this video we're on 844 subscribers so we're nearly there if you're interested in picking up a vintage film camera range finder camera hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because the faster we get there the faster we get to give these cool things away so I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you enjoyed what is in my camera bag for filmmaking um, I will be doing a part three to this video probably something based around the more guerrilla style filmmaking or maybe gear that I take for professional portrait shoots or things that I take with me on holiday when I do backpack traveling um, obviously with that you have to kind of weigh in you have clothes as well so guys let me know in the comments below which version you want to see next so we've already covered street photography camera bag and today we've covered the day-to-day -day filmmaking camera bag so let me know which one you want to see next down below so if you guys enjoyed this video and think that someone else could benefit from watching this video, consider sharing it to them. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell because you know it is the coolest thing to do. I need to stop doing that ASMR thing, but hitting that notification bell is the coolest thing to do. So guys, as always, keep creating, keep doing what you love, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I wanna take this time and thank everyone that's new to the channel. Really, really do appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, especially during crazy times like this. It's nice to know that the content I'm providing you guys is giving you some sort of joy in this crazy time. I do live streams on Instagram with other creatives and I will be announcing something quite big in the coming few days. So hopefully, 
that's interesting enough for you guys to listen. If you want to know what it's going to be, follow me on Instagram, the link will be below and I'll be announcing it there. So yeah, but anyway, other than that, that's all I got for you. So I'll guess I'll see you in the next video.